Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. All right, today I want to talk about a little tool that I've been using for about 9-10 months now. This is called the Xiaomi, Xiaomi Wow Stick 1F Plus. You can find this from a very variable amount of prices from like I've seen it as low as 16, 17 bucks on like AliExpress, which I've never ordered from there before, so I don't know anything about them. All the way up to like 45 on Amazon, which is a, a little steep. The mid, the mid range price, like on Banggood USA and stuff, is right around 30, 35 bucks. So what this is, is this is kind of, I wouldn't say a replacement to all our M nut drivers, but I would say it's just more of a helper, you know, kind of something that helps along, helps along with the building process and stuff like that. So far, I haven't had any problems with it. All you have is a forward and reverse speed. That's it, there's no variable torque, no variable anything. Three little LEDs on the front that light up as you're, as you're torquing along. I just keep the M2 on it because I, I pretty much use it with 2.5 inch, three inch quads. It works really well with the smaller type sizes. And then I just keep the M3 inside the box. Other than that, I don't use any of the other uh, bits that come with it. It comes with like 62 bits, some other accessories. So we'll take a look and then I'll just show you it in use real quick. Um, the only reason I'm even recommending this is because it hasn't broke yet, which I'm really surprised. And, and we'll go into the a couple cons of this in a little bit, but uh, let me show you what it comes with. The box is super heavy. It's like ridiculously heavy. It feels like there's a brick inside here. I just keep all the crap that it comes with in here. So it comes with some weird little case. It has a it just magnetically like fastens together and you can keep two rolls of the bits in there. It comes with three different sets of these bits. Like I said, there's 62 in total. We only care about a handful of them, right? A couple Phillips, maybe a flat one, flathead just to have on standby. And then, uh, you know, for electronics, you might use some of the star bits and stuff. But for us, we just care about the end bits. And let's see what's in here. A magnetizer and demagnetizer. This is actually really handy. It holds the magnetization really good. So you just swipe it once to demagnetize it, swipe it again on the bottom to magnetize it. And it keeps the magnetization, magnetization, pretty much uh, until you go to demagnetize it again. So it'll just stay there indefinitely. And the nuts themselves, they kind of magnetically go right in there as well, just like that. So um, comes with that, comes with a little carrying stand or whatever. I don't know, I guess you're supposed to like set it like this and maybe it goes, yeah, it goes like this. And I don't know, maybe this goes, yeah, there you go. I don't use this thing, I just keep it in here. I keep this down underneath the desk or whatever. Another thing of, of these bits right here. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is actually kind of handy. So, oh, like I said, I keep the M3 just sitting here loose. Um, we'll try that on a five inch quad in just a second. Comes with a nice little magnetic tray. This is actually pretty beefy, it's, it's hefty. You have your different sizes on the back, a little sizing chart. And you can see here if I can't get it in there, good. You know, it's it's pretty thick too. It's definitely a up thick pad. I don't know, it's just handy when you're building. I'm not just sitting around. And I don't know, let's see, let's get this all back in here, something to mess with it again. I don't know what's in here, I forget. Uh, just like I said, I got it a long time ago. Everything comes in these little white little boxes too. It's like they kind of made this little apple presentation. So inside here we have a little thing. Sorry, I didn't know it was off camera there. So. We have a little thing of little screws it comes with. I don't know, it's kind of cute, I guess. Maybe you can put just put your M3 and M2 in there. I don't bother him with it. And uh, so this looks like a little pry tool for phones and a little suction magnetic thing. And there's a charging cord for it. I just used one of the ones that I have in it. So, um, you know, it comes with quite a bit, a little, a little bit of stuff here. Definitely has all the bits that we need, that we care about in this hobby. I'll put all this crap back later. But uh, let's put all this stuff to the side and uh, take a look at this bad boy. Let me put this down here. All right, we are back. So um, let's try this out real quick on a quads. I really feel like this is geared towards like just smaller quads, your whoops, two, two and a half, three inch, because this, the, the amount of torque on here, eh, it's so-so, you know, it, it's not so great. I'll demonstrate it here. So here it is going full speed. And here I am just kind of putting a little pressure on it. And I can, I can tighten it all the way up to where I can make it stop. I mean, it still wants to go. But like I said, you know, this isn't a torque powerhouse. It's not one of your bigger, like, DeWalt or any of those type brands, like the bigger cordless screwdrivers, you know, the one you got to beef up here and put on some rechargeable battery pack and all that stuff. No, this is a super lightweight tool. I just keep it, like, with my other drivers. I just throw it in there. You know, I grab it, and I still use my drivers for a reason. I'll talk about it in a little bit. 
We'll grab a three inch quad here. We have a little H3. Props look pretty rough here. Um, so we can definitely use a changing here. Let's see, there's a little delay on the monitor. So yeah, these are scuffed up pretty bad. So let's try this tool out, see how it does. So you just get it on here. You see it required me to do a little half turn. So, so that's the one thing about this. So that's the cool thing. When you go to get a, a, a screw out or go to get it all the way down tight, it kind of has like a ratcheting system. And what I mean by that here, I'll demonstrate it. Let me get it on there. Is once you're on the screw, you it goes like this and then you can go back. You know what I mean? And just keep going. So it's, it's kind of, it's like having a screw, a screwdriver that's not going to break on you to a certain degree. I wouldn't push it. And also the electric part of it. So I wouldn't call it ratcheting so much, but I mean, it kind of torques down on it and locks, you know what I mean? So, you know, it just made that nice and handy. It makes sure you're not just sitting there spinning around. Just grab a prop off. We'll grab one out of this set here. These are, um, what do you have? Hurricane 3016s. So just replacing them with the same prop. Let's see, we're running props out here. So, do 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 do. Nope. Yep. Do 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 do. Okay. She's in there. Done. You want the next one? And the cool thing too, I should demonstrate this as well, is when you're doing a build or anything, like these screw heads, they really stay on here well. Like it's, it's not coming off, you know, just, it, it, it's a, they did a pretty good design. The other thing I noticed too, and I should point this out as like a pro, is you've got a really nice angle that you can go at these. And that, it, you know what I mean if you've been doing this a while, some of these drivers, you really got to go at it perfectly straight or you got to go at it with just that little bit of angle in these you have a lot of a lot of lead room and at the same time i haven't had a strip ahead yet so there it goes it's on there it's not going anywhere just line her up done on to the next one so pretty sweet you know it it's, makes doing all this stuff really easy you know just getting out of frame boom got that bolt out put it back in Give it a little tighten down at the end. So, you know, you just, uh, it, it complements what you're already doing. You still have to finish up with a couple turns at the end. No doubt about it. You want to crank everything down. But for like, you know, this is a little three inch quad. It's great. I definitely need to change the rest of these props. I'll do that off camera. But you know, you just do complete builds with them. The other cool thing too, is I've had this thing for, like I said, nine months now. I've charged it two times, twice. Um, I've done like three builds, two complete transplants, I don't know how many props I've changed. I, I mean, I change props like every two times I go out and fly and not usually on more than one quad. So, you know, I'm, I use this thing a lot. I didn't even worry about the charge. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't even noticed it go low before. I just put it on the charger because I figure, oh crap, I better put it on the charger. I haven't done it in months. So, I mean, the thing holds a charge forever. There's nothing fancy to go out on it. No LCD or OLED screens or weird like torque settings and this and that is just set it forget it you use it that's it so um a couple cons would be moving over to a five inch quad with this this is a six inch actually i should say um so this hyper low cg frame so this will work fine on all the frame screws and stuff so we'll, we'll demonstrate that real quick let's uh sorry got to swap out to an m3 so let's get the bigger nut on here, bigger driver, I should say. We'll demonstrate this real quick. Let me get that angle. And I, see what I mean? I can go in at a nice angle like that. It's really sweet. We'll go ahead and loosen this. Now, you notice how right here, it's just not doing it. That's okay. Just give it a quick little turn and it'll do the rest. And once you get it all the way on there, it does a pretty good job of pretty much getting there. Just give it a little quarter turn and that's it, it's done. However, on pretty much any larger quad I build, well, any quad I do, I always put my motors on with Loctite. So using this for the first time to put the motor screws on is great. But when you go to take them off, forget about it. I mean, we'll, we'll go ahead and try here. Let's see what happens. I don't want to just ruin the thing, but look, it's locked. And I mean, if I, if I go to jam that any harder, I'm afraid I'm going to strip out whatever's in there that holds it locked. So, you know, there's certain parts of the process in which you're still going to need a driver, most definitely, like this situation. 
But otherwise, it pretty much handles everything. And when you're doing a fresh build, it'll do it all. You put your motor screws in and all that. No problem at all. And if you don't use Loctite, you won't have a problem either. But otherwise, if you are using Loctite or anything, you gotta break it loose for the regular driver, for sure. Let's talk about a couple of the cons. And they're not really cons, they're just little nitpicks so you know about the product. So one of the things that's kind of dumb on here, so it has this light, I'll point it up at the camera. So when you turn it on, you see the little lights in the camera view there. That's cool and Danny, but it's real gimmicky in that it only stays on when you're actively pushing the forward or reverse button, which is kind of dumb for trying to find something in the dark, which is the whole point of the light to begin with. So what they should have done is just made it to where you push forward on it like that and it stays on for three or four seconds and then it'll turn off if you're not using it. That way you can get it into the head, you know, and then just continue on your way. The other thing I don't like, like I mentioned already, is that it, it could use like maybe ah, 10 to 20% more torque. You know, if it had that extra 10 to 20, I think it would really put this over the top. I, you know, I'd be able to recommend this like unquestionably for all size quads. You know, oh, you're doing a six inch build, no problem. You're doing a three inch, no problem. This, you know, the thing will definitely handle it. But the reality is, it struggles on the five inch it really does and you know you're doing the the m3s it just seems to go in there a little tighter the hardware's a little bigger uh yada yada um and we tend to torque things down a little bit tighter on them so it, it does struggle with that part of it but for like your smaller quads like this little three inch stuff oh it's beautiful it, it makes your life so much easier again this isn't something you need or anything like that it's just kind of one of those hey it's kind of nice to have products if you've already got everything and you're just Kind of want to make your life a little bit easy, easier. The other thing I don't like are, um, well, let me just grab them here. So it comes with three tubes of these. I mean, this is just, I know, I know, this is kind of standard for a lot of them, but it's just really dumb to take these out, try to figure out which ones are which, this and that. It would have been nice if they were just in some type of a flat lift up thing that you can just, you know, lift one section up and there's all the bolts, this and that. But all right, guys, I'm just rambling on. I've been working uh, pretty heavily on a Halloween video, so that's why my fingers are a little bit pink from some fake blood. But yeah, I do recommend this thing. It's a WowStick 1F Plus, or F, there, let me find the box. Yeah, 1F Plus. Um, you can find it everywhere, bang good, this and that. It's not really marketed as like an FPV tool. It's just more of a, an electronics helper. That's why it comes with a little pry tool and a little miscellaneous screws, this and that. But it's really nice. I like it. It, it, it works well. It keeps my wrist from getting sore. Really comes in real handy when you're doing like, you know, transplants, you break a frame, or you're doing complete motor swaps or something like that. And I really like it with the micros, with like I said, you know, it just does a really good job of just keeping the screw right on there, which I, I don't know. I just seem to fumble quite a bit with drivers. Like, you know, get it on there. I don't want to come loose right above the flight controller. I don't really like screws and stuff dropping on the electronics and all that. And with this, you put a screw head on there, you can do what you want. You can get it right where you want it if you need to. So that's, it's just really nice. I like that precision. I like being able to just get one ready and have the frame going and just boom, push the button and go. And then just ratchet down, like I said, that last quarter to half turn. That's all you need to do. So it speeds up the building process, speeds up the repair process. It's not gonna put a big dent in your bank. I have no affiliation with this manufacturer or the product or anything about that. You won't see links in my description. It's just a product I own. It's something I use. I bought it with my own money. I, uh, I do recall buying it from the Banggood USA store. I had some points from them, so it only ended up costing me like 18 bucks. Uh, for me personally, it's 18 bucks well spent. It's still holding up. It still goes forward and it still goes backward after two five inch builds. That's what I used it for. So I mean, the fact that it can handle the bigger stuff and still keep on trucking, oh, I'll give it the recommendation. So hey, just a quick video, getting back to the Halloween stuff, and we'll get back into flight videos. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.